Rocket Science Airlines. How can I help you? I have a festival to attend to in the desert, and I need a plane ticket to Las Vegas, please. Sure, allow me to check the takeoff manifest. Ah, I see that we have one flight available, May 17th, 2037, and due to your target destination, you'll need to be here at 4.45 and 13 seconds a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Would you like me to reserve the flight now? We will need 15 million up front, and there's no guarantee that the flight will take off. If there are any delays, such as an incompatibility between your luggage and the stowaway bin, we'll have to push the date back. Um, the total for your ticket comes to $157,682,342.99. Wait, I, I don't understand. I would just like to fly to Vegas so that I can attend a festival. You guys have planes, I've seen them in the sky. Why can't I just buy a ticket and fly today? Well, sir, those planes you see in the sky today were ordered the same way. They all have to be built for each flight. After the flight, they're destroyed, so we must build another plane again from the ground up. We pride ourselves in being a leader in industry innovation. Our business model is to supply the largest number of contractors. You guys build a new plane for each flight? Why? After the completion of each flight, we dump the planes into the ocean. Besides, we wouldn't want to recover them anyway. They're not designed to be used again. How, how is this a successful business model? Well, like I said, we enjoy diversifying our construction to several different component manufacturers in a wide variety of ways so that your money is distributed among strategically organized political districts. Your money is spread in such a way as to both maximize our profits and ensure money and jobs go to a plethora of those districts, which in turn makes the political representatives happy and a friend to our enterprise. This ensures that laws and regulations remain in our favor to discourage competition and ensure that we can, in fact, bend you over the barrel, proverbially speaking. I suppose that makes some sort of sense. I mean, at least my money would be going to providing jobs for thousands of American workers so that then they can provide for their family. Well, the majority of your money will go to the main components, the engines, which are manufactured in Russia, and we buy from them. Wait. You don't even make your own engines? Of course, we make some engines, and we used to make a lot more. But we have learned through the wondrous powers of globalization that we can outsource and manufacture a lot of the components to other companies. This enables us to provide you with this perfectly reasonable price. The landing gears are made in France, the airframe is made in Germany, and the electrical components come from China. Would you like to book a flight? But what about the gloating that you just gave me about my money going into actual American jobs in actual American districts? Oh, I assure you, sir, on paper it seems that way, and our politicians are extremely happy when we put an American flag on the side of our plane with Russian engines. I don't understand. Why has the free market not provided a competitor to put you guys out of business yet? This seems ludicrous to me. You destroy each plane after use, you piece together manufactured parts from several different suppliers, which, in my humble opinion, increases the chances of setbacks, compatibility issues, and even potential airplane failures. I refuse to believe that this is the only way. Is there another company that I can buy a plane ticket from? Well, there's this one company, but we don't like to talk about them. They use a different business model that streamlines manufacturing, testing, and design. They also try to constantly reduce the cost of the plane ticket. But don't worry, sir. We've convinced the government that their business model is inherently unsafe because they undercut our price. And even though their current airplane design has a perfect safety record and ours does not, the politicians listen to us over them for the reasons previously mentioned. Would you like to book a flight now? Actually, while we were talking, the cost of the trip has gone up. It's going to be an additional $700,000, I'm afraid. Out of curiosity, who is your competitor? Perhaps I should buy a plane ticket from them.